Monroeville Convention Center. Free admission, free parking. Call 855 Spa Sale. Welcome back. Former Penguins player Ken Reggett and is teaming up with Pittsburgh artist Tempe Moore for a good cause. His Hall of Fame mask is being replicated 31 times with new detailed artwork and then auctioned off. They're both here in studio to talk about this project. So thank you guys so much for being here. I already yeah. saw the beautiful stick on your lap. Oh, that yeah. is amazing. So I want to know about the project and what inspired you to do this? Um, well, the project was brought to me by Ken. Um, he asked if I would be willing to collaborate with him to recreate the, the legendary mask of the 90s. Um, so yeah, it's a work in progress and it's, I'm excited to start. I love that. So what inspired you to even form this partnership with each other? Um, well, I mean, I've been doing artwork for the past 20 years, and I've been donating to many of the charities in Pittsburgh. Um, and I guess he heard of my name from a person or two and asked me if I would be willing to do something on a helmet, which, you know, if he would have asked me five years ago, I probably would have said no because I didn't think it was possible. Um, but special thanks to Dave at Penguins Foundation who pushed me to you know really go for it and have no limits with my artwork and just believing in me and that's you know just the people that are there to support me that's so amazing and you're super talented well uh, thank you yeah what's it like having your helmet uh your mask transformed so over these past 31 mm -hmm. years well 31 helmets yeah it's it, it's quite amazing uh it, it was a helmet that uh i always had the the helmet with the cage i guess uh -huh. this is a hybrid mask and that has a cage with the uh, mask on it. And uh, it took me a long time to get into that and it wasn't very safe. And uh, the NHL was kind of pushing me to get into more of a mask, mask type of thing. So they came up with this and then uh, they told me about the design on it. And uh, I wasn't a graphic designer, so I wasn't sure. But I said, uh, the trainer at the time said it was really cool. And he said, we should do it. So this is the mask they came up with and it's, uh, since been in the Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, it's been such a great design and uh, and uh, it's even ranked in the top 10 in the NHL history of the NHL for goalie mass. So it's quite an honor to have that privilege. Wow, and this is the one that's going to be auctioned off? It, it, well, that one's not gonna be auctioned okay. off. That mm -hmm. one resides in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. I, I just went up there last uh, week to pull it out and. And uh, they gave it to me on loan. And uh, what we wanted to do was, we've done a couple of galas with, uh, with the restaurant I ever owned, Kenny Regas 31. And uh, for the Penguin Gala, we had some wine of ours as well as a mask we auctioned off and it did well. And we did one for the St. Jude at the Axture Stadium a couple of weeks ago and, and that turned out really well as well. And we thought we'd take it and we'd bring it to the next step and that was to get uh, an actual mold of the original one and an artist to paint it and, uh, and that's where Kemp Tempe came in and yeah. we had a mutual friend that recommended her and I had some art work from her and I seen her work and I gave her a call and, uh, and she was uh, very lucky that uh, for me that she said jumped on board <laughs> and we're able to do this and once we get everything all together it's going to be quite quite a piece of art and it's actually been a lot nicer than this one this one as you can see is a little bit weathered but it's, uh, yeah. it's a good <laughs> that makes it authentic and like a vibe I yeah. love it yeah, yeah. Uh, what so you have to tell me what the stick is and who's on it, everything about it. Um, Yammer Yager, he oh, yeah. came for an autograph signing and I was one of the lucky few who got to, uh, one of the first autographs when he came to town. Um, but this is what I do now for the Penguins Foundation or different charities in Pittsburgh area. So um, just taking hockey memorabilia and giving it a new life and raising some money for good causes and being able to recreate something like that is just an honor really i was able to like take all the photos and get all the reference pictures because i mean I, I already did one for like you said to the saint jude charity okay. um but 31 more to go and each one's going to be one of one you know completely authentic yeah, hand that's done what i was wondering yeah how long is that going to take you um i'd say you know it takes me a couple weeks just to do like a large piece but if it's small like a stick i could do in a day maybe but a, you know something like that three-dimensional you know, a couple weeks. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, what charity will these be going to? Um, 
there will be a few different ones, huh? Yeah, we're we're it's kind of a more of a process. We're not going to get the helmet. I drop off to more, this helmet tomorrow uh, to the Greg Bray who's doing the mold, and I should say each mold will be unique in itself. Plus each rendering or painting will be unique in itself, and it's going to be over the course of probably years, but at least six months to start off. And yeah. uh, we're doing various charities. We're going to keep some of them for our kids and stuff. I and and to hand down and, and uh, basically just auction them off for uh, local charities and stuff because we like working uh, and giving back to the community like they've supported us as well. Yeah, that's so special and you're super talented. Mm -hmm. I can't thank wait to you. see these whenever you're done. I yeah. love it. All right, thank well, you. thank you so much for joining today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, well,